Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Good day, everyone. My name is Muhammad al-Khalifa. We've had a fruitful symposium this year with everyone. And today I'll be talking about my research, which is, as you can see, about social media and crisis management. I've chosen this research as opposed to my current job at the Ministry of Interior. And I'd like to also take a quick minute to talk about why I chose it for myself. The Has anyone here heard of Bahrain Air? Yes. Yes. It was my grandfather was the chairman of the company and as Mr. Sayed I think he left. He talked about his company going bankrupt as well. Well, we all faced that. So, this is called a crisis. And now I'm going to tell, tell you how we can manage it. So the slide contents will be talking about research aim, research objectives, research questions, the literature gap, research methodology, research methods, and findings analysis and conclusions. So first off, what is the aim of this study? The purpose of the study is to identify critical success factors in social media to understand the effect of social media on crisis management. Next off, let's give you a few definitions. So social media. What is social media? It is mostly based on websites and applications that enable users to create and share content or to participate in social networking. Let me elaborate on that. First off, who uses smartphones over here? Everyone. How many databases do you guys have? You have an incredible amount of databases. It is one of the most powerful computers today. So, next up, we have crisis management, which is the process by which a business or organization deal with sudden emergency situations. So just a quick introduction, I'm not going to read the whole thing. Um, crisis management responds to an emergency or disaster with response, with the purpose of saving lives, property, or the environment. Next up, we have, while the use of social media during the crises and conce concept, uh, consequently, sorry, um, Crisis communication professionals need to understand how to strategically optimize social media so we can fix the issue before it gets worse. So, social, social media is a virtual community, and this research will be based on the social capital theory due to, due to it having a strong approach, and it is lit literature-driven. So, take a look at this picture right here. How many familiar app applications do you guys see? Nearly all of it. Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. This is our day-to-day -day apps. So next up, we've got the research uh, objectives. The main contribution of this thesis is the connection between crisis management and social media. The study investigates how to successfully handle a crisis within social media. The difference between lar smaller and larger companies in handling a crisis in social media are brought up as well. I was going to put up a video so, it can, so we can show you a guy how he faced his issues because he went viral on social media and his company went bankrupt, but we'll, we'll keep that for another time. So next up, we've got the questions, and I'll break it down for you. The, so we will focus on the questions on how deep we can dive in. First off, what is the effect of social media on crisis management? We go deeper in that. What is the effect of social media? Uh, sorry. Uh, social media is a virtual group, and group generates generate social capital as they participate. When we go farther in 
Hence, what, the, what is the effect of social capital expressed by, expressed by social capital theory around crisis management? Next up, this is a quick graph on how social media and crisis management meet up through social media being the independent variable and crisis management being the dependent variable. So when V1 and V2 meet up, you get hypothesis 1, H1. And then we, we break it down into a graph. So we have social interaction ties. Go in, go in, go in a bit more, you got trust. Norms of re reciprocity, identification, shared language, and shared vision. So we'll put them in groups. Social in interaction ties are under structural dimensions. And the three, the three above will be on relationship di relation dimension. And then the last two will be on cognitive uh, dimensions, which all connect to crisis management at the end. OK. Next we have the literature review. So literature on social media needs to be differentiated from that on the, as, uh, the social aspect of mass media, while researchers work to, to develop software for the efficient dissemination of messages via social networks during crisis situations. A more systematic approach has been advocated to use of social networking so software in crisis situations, starting the class with the classifications of uses and potentials. <clears throat> Next page, we've got crisis management in case of a possible crisis situation is a process consisting of activities of evaluation of crisis signs, taking and applying necessary precautions in order to recover from the crisis with minimal, with minimal loss. I was talking about that a while ago, about, about saving everything before it, before it gets completely destroyed. There was little indication that the massive use of social media by the Japanese public led to a successful propagation of rumor and widely incorrect information. Integration of social media into emergency planning and crisis management in a questionnaire survey. Let me jump back to the second one. Remember when we had the issue with Bahrainis not accepting the VAT, which we still don't. So. That was rumor after rumor, and they had to switch it, and they have to jump to another date. The, that's one way to look, at, to look at the literature review. Next up, we have the literature gap. So, the literature gap is a formal study of the effect of social media on crisis management. And it has been limited, though limited but with mixed findings, hence leaving a research gap, which is that there remains outstanding inquiries as to what role social media plays to mitigate any emergency. Next up, we have this thing. This is called the research onion. I know, sounds funny, it's an onion. Okay, as you all know, onions have seven layers, this one has six. So, the research onion has Layers of methodology broken down into a group of six, which consists of philosophies, approaches, strategies, choices, time horizons, techniques, and procedures. But for the, for the research that will be con get conducted, we'll just, we'll just need a handful of these. Next up, we've got the method, the research method. We'll be talking about the stance first. So, the, the approach type. We've got three ap approach types. The positivism, the post-positivism, and critical theory. So, I'm g so, I chose positivism as to my literature pushing me to that. So, it would be good. And uh, justifying that, I, it, ex it, examines, it, it first off examines the cause that influences outcome. Second off, it researches first made which later were qual qualitatively tested. Third, knowledge is sh shaped by the data examined through reliability and validity.
So next up, we have the method, the actual method. So everyone is familiar with quantitative and qualitative mixed methods. So I chose quantitative. Why? Because it supports explanatory research and tests and verifies existing theory and uh, relationship. Reliability and validity, validity needs to be tested st statistically, though I, I usually think the masses would be good, always. So next up we have the research strat strategy, which is two types, experimental and non-experimental. I chose non-experimental survey types. So qu quantitative non-experimental design facilities, large size sample, and you know populations and stuff like that, which is which needs a lot of explanation. So I'm just going to jump to the next slide. So I broke it down into this. So my stance will be positivism. My method will be qualitative. The strategy I chose will be non-experimental survey. Hmm? Yes. Qualitative. Oh, qu oh, quantitative. Sorry, sorry. I uh, it's okay, so I'll, I'll edit that later. Okay. The second. The, the second one, yeah. Sorry. Okay. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Inshallah. <laughs> and then, next we have the research, uh, sorry, sorry. Um, and then next we have the findings and analysis. Um, so, I'll break it down really quick. So, Achieving background awareness, study problem area, identify issues under research, develop research questions, and the principles theory, which I chose as social capital theory, and uh, develop conceptual framework, identify the research methodology. Now to the conclusion. The conclusion consists of findings and results that have been made in this thesis. How did the users prepare themselves for a crisis by using social media? New media technologies are having a major impact on social society as a whole. The integration of such technologies into social settings within society, such as the household, is having a major influence on social interaction between individuals. Next, next question, we've got, did users understand the potential risks brought about by the crisis through social, so, through social media? There is no doubt that social media did provide the opportunity for greatly enhancing exchange for, uh, of information between the authorities and the public and between members of the public, but not without substantial costs. These days, as you all know, I'm working in the Ministry of Interior. I'm working on an app. So most of you can talk to law enforcement by the phone, by, uh, by just texting them. You, you don't even have to go to the police station, you don't even have to go to any of those things. It's all in your hand. So that, that, that too will be beneficial for social media as well. So next we have Photoshop image manipulation, which is widely used by people and share, sharing photographs. But we all know sometimes it's false news or, fa or fake pictures. Next up, uh, to what extent did people use social media in crises and how did they perceive them? Social media usage is some extent negatively correlated with the age and positively with, with age and uh, with the educational attainment. So, okay. social media devoid of uh, purpose and content would do little to enable people to prepare, respond, and recover in the face of disasters. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.